The battle is over. Squash fine borer won. Cucumber beetles are not my friend. Squash bugs are coming more and more each day. I'll just pick my harvest and start over again. That's my battle lost cry. I've tried. I've tried the organic battle. I'm still fighting. I'm hoping that some of these will mature out. I've really had some really nice spaghetti squash coming on. I planted them really late. Some people say if you plant them late that you'll avoid some of the uh, pests that they've gone other places or passed you by, went north or south. Uh, this one, I mean, it's still trying to bloom. There's several vines in here, so there might just be one that's dead. So I'm afraid to pick them all out because, you know, that one's clearly dead. That, but this one's not next to it. And so what it is is a vine borer. I haven't tried to locate it. It disgusts me out, but they bore it right into the stem and they eat the guts out so your plants great looking doing great no sh sign of decline and then pfft, in one two I mean in two days you know it looks droopy like you need to water but that's not it by then it's too late but you can dissect them out cut into the stem keep an eye out for you know little shavings and poke in there and get them out but I missed all that I did see some squash borers on here or I mean squash bugs I'm trying to get there's still cucumber beetles everywhere so I'm gonna keep battling them put up more sticky cards just so they don't overwinter and have more next year. I want to catch their next life cycle. I was doing well and then their life cycle broke and the next generation came out or it didn't break. Their life cycle started over again. They had laid eggs, enough of them to come out in droves again. These are cute baby acorn squashes. Sandra, I hope to have some of these for you when you come. This plant's still looking healthy. I'll have to investigate further. But this plant here, the spaghetti squash, could be used as a trap crop. Since it's already weakened, sometimes the insects go towards more of the weakened plants because plants do have defenses, kind of like an immune system like we have against diseases and insects. If it's really, really healthy and full of nutrients, it can battle off some of the pests. So usually at the first sign of any disease or decline, you're supposed to give it vitamins, just like we're supposed to when we get a cold. Like I said, I'm experimenting here. You know, this is not my livelihood, so I have the luxury, but if this was somebody's livelihood, it would be hard not to spray and keep your plants growing. I mean, spray chemicals. I have some melons. They're getting some spots on them of a virus or a bacteria. I was hoping to at least get one melon. These are a uh, musk melon. We'll see. I'll have to be more prepared next year. I have some weapons in my arsenal now that if I catch things early will help. This tomato has been stripped. There must be, at first I thought maybe a deer was walking by browsing, but there must be a hornworm or something on here eating the leaves. Oh, there he is. Hi, hornworm. Oh my gosh. How, did you, how do you miss that? 
Okay, hornworms are not your friends. Look what they do. Hello, that was supposed to be for me. They defoliate it. But I am on Facebook, I'm on this group, friends of pollinators and such, and they are looking for hornworms and they put them in a jar and they feed them leaves and I guess they turn into a really beautiful moth. So, I don't know about that, but if he doesn't move on, if he stays on this one, it's already a piddly little tomato plant anyway. But see, there's his horn. Tomato horn room, not a friend of tomato producers, but I guess a friend of pollinator supporters. But yeah, if you see this where it's like defoliated, they will, like, they eat the leaves off. I have been able, I mean, I've had the best cucumber year ever that I've ever grown cucumbers. So I can't really complain because I still don't know what to do with all the cucumbers I still have in my fridge and both drawers and boxes out in the kitchen. I have made several batches of half sour dill pickles where you kind of, it's a, kind of a fermented brine and then you refrigerate them. So it's probably supposed to be like the Claussen pickles. So I've developed a few varieties for my granddaughter, Emma, I, I gave her two to, different ones to try. She liked both. I made some for Nancy. I made some for some other people. I've given away cucumbers for people to pickle. I've sold some at the farmer's markets. I've given away fresh ones to friends for them to make their own pickles. And so I've had a really good year. But this is the zucchini. Oh, here's Plumpkin. Hey, Plumpkin. That's Aaron's new nickname for Hope is Plumpkin. So this one lost the battle. This was a robust zucchini. I don't know if I wanted this year. I don't know if I'm going to do the dissecting and look for the worm. I'm sorry. We're just going to burn it so they don't lay eggs for next year. So that one's declining. But I did see a couple more. Dan, Dan's our harvester of the zucchini. That's his job. It's easy to miss them and then you're like, Oh, that one got huge. I did see one here, one or two here, still coming on. So we'll keep harvesting till they completely die off like that one. That's not making anymore. And then the striped zucchini, he just harvested them the other day. They are huge, but yesterday at the farmer's market, someone said those Italian striped zucchini are, have a little bit more sweetness to them. And so those were the ones I was gonna shred anyway. Once they get too big, I cut them open, scoop out the seeds, just like you would a watermelon, or I mean a cantaloupe or a muskmelon, and then shred it up. Then in the winter we can use it to make zucchini bread, or I put it in like chili and stuff. Nobody knows it's in there. It disintegrates. Or in soups and stuff, shredded zucchini. Good way to get your nutrients in there. So again, this is the cucumber harvest for today. So it's not over yet. I mean, the battle's over, but the harvest is still coming on. And I'll just start over again with my 